Hello, my name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk and today I'm going to be talking about my thickening agent. Now this will thicken any paint as long as it's water-based. So um, if that's something you're interested in seeing, I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration very shortly after this introduction. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. So thank you very much for uh, joining me in the studio. Yes, as I just said in the introduction, I'm going to show you my thickening gel. Now I've developed this um, throughout my um, trying to replicate the Bob Ross painting. Um, I found that a lot of the paints, the acrylic paints, are quite thin, and you can buy really heavy bodied ones, but they're quite expensive. So I thought, let's play the scientist and see if I can make some sort of a gel that can thicken this up. And um, I think I've stumbled on a good formula. So um, without further ado, come down and have a look at the table of explanation and I'll show you exactly how it works. Okay, as you're looking down upon the table, um, this is my uh, thickening gel, as you can see. Let's get this into shot. There we are. Okay, so it is, there we go. Do you see it in there? That is the paste. It's a lovely, lovely gloopy paste. And I've actually got a little bit already out onto my little bit of cardboard there and if I bring that up to the camera you can see that it's let it focus you can see it's just a it's a lovely paste now I can't go into the actual way I made this um, for obvious reasons because I want to try and preserve the um, the formula I just dropped my brush but I do want to show you this this is um, a normal paint um, it's a mid-range paint student quality paint um, this is particularly uh, a blue color so we'll just put a little bit of that out there like that and I've got a, a same type of range paint um, from this manufacturer and this is in yellow and we'll put a little bit of that there you can see it's just slightly thicker it's a little bit more of a body to it than that one um, this is another um, paint this is not so much um, mid range is more student quality but you can see it's quite it's quite a nice reasonable consistency of paint and this one is actually a pound shop or pound store um, paint and it's I would imagine it's going to come up quite runny if it wants to come out it doesn't look as if it wants to come out so what we'll do we'll unscrew it and we got it look see that's really runny how runny that is okay so what I want to do now to make this really fair is we're gonna get the blue and we're gonna squish it around like that and you can see this is my favorite um, brand of paint you can see there's quite a nice coverage of paint there so I, I quite like that particular brand myself personally. So I'm just going to wash my brush very quickly. Let's get a let's get a pot over here. I didn't prepare this very well, did I? No. But there we are. This is a fun. This is the this is why I like doing these type of things. And this is the other paint we've got. Now that's a lot thicker on the brush. You can see it's it's a lot thicker, and it feels heavier on actually on the canvas as well. I can feel it dragging a little bit more so it's 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 a, it's a it's got a lot it's a lot more viscous in other words it's a lot thicker okay so let's wash that brush and let's go into this particular manufacturer and again this is it's not that nice actually it's got a little bit of body to it but I don't know I don't know if I like that but it covers really well and this um, it's a moderately, moderately priced paint. And again, it's quite late. It's half past 11 in the, in the studio tonight. So I'm trying to keep my voice down because my neighbors will be shouting at me. Oh, this paint is just, well, it's just like water. Basically this, there's, there's hardly anything in that. Um, let's put that there. You can see it's quite transparent as well. You're going to need to put a lot of layers of that on and um, it doesn't feel very nice under the brush and as I brush it you can see the white 
of the canvas or you should do see the white of the canvas coming through there you go okay so just washing our brush let's get a bit of this blue there you go it doesn't want to come off well wow, come on blue there you go now with this particular product that um, I've managed to put together um, you don't need a lot this is very powerful stuff you need about that much that's the ratio you're looking at now, I want to watch this closely and you've got to use a palette knife for this you've got to use a palette knife to mix this I want you to see how that actually immediately thickens that paint up and this is taking on the consistency of oil paint you need to mix it really well though you can see how thick that is Let's get our little brush and I'm not going to dry it too much and let's put this on the other canvas. There you go. You can see how nice and thick that is. I hope you can get that on really thick. And I'll show you how thick it is. You can actually draw through it like that. There you go. That shows you how thick that is. Okay, we need to wash our brush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually pick up some of this yellow, if I can. <laughs> there you go. You can see it's quite thick. That's about the thickness as that, actually. So we, we've managed to make a thinner paint to the consistency of... A, a good manufacturer actually and um, there we go so let's mix a little bit of this uh, roughly about the same quantity you don't want a lot please don't mix too much of this together because it's gonna thicken like you won't believe and the trouble is it, it's got a little bit of retarding stuff in it as well and it, it does take a little while to dry so you, you're trying to paint with a paint this it could take up to 24 hours before it, this will actually dry. And let's take it just a little bit further. Let's just add a little bit more. I just want to show you how thick you can actually get this. And this time, let's pick it all up onto the palette knife, over to this canvas, and you can see that if you wanted to you could just put that on with a palette knife but don't forget the thicker this goes on the longer it's going to take to dry so this is not modeling paste you can I've done lessons with modeling paste this is not modeling paste this is actually thickening gel itself and again back to this side of the canvas let's pick up this yellow ochre and you can see quite smooth that's not a bad that's not actually a little bad little paint considering what it is and well, that's a British manufacturer I believe and um, the first one is a British the second one the yellow was an American and this is another British one so let's pick up the same amount of paint again and this see how it works with that particular paint and you can see already it's thickening up but you've got to mix this in really well if you don't mix it in well you'll find that it'll, it'll dry uneven and you're changing the paint's characteristics now so that's another thing you've got to be aware of that this is going to be you're going to you're going to find it different to work with the paint now because it's, 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 it's not pure acrylic it's got a thickening agent in it so 
So I just wash my brush. And let's add a bit of water to that this time. Let's see what happens. There we go. Now let's take across to the other canvas. You can see, got quite a nice thick paint. Use this um, for Bob Ross techniques if you want to get that oil effect. So this is going to take on the characteristics of oil paint. This is a lot thicker and it's a, it's a really nice paint. I keep saying thicker because inevitably it is. And you've got to be mindful of that. So I'm just getting in a bit of kitchen roll. And back over to our board. And this is our really thin, wishy-washy, pound shop paint look. It's like water. There's very, very, very little pigment in it. But let's see if we can thicken that up with the same amount of gel. There we go. Now, because there's not so much pigment in this, this, this might not cover as well as you want it to, but you can get it to thicken up. So it's a lot thicker. And let's, let's take this to the extreme. Let's put too much in. And I don't recommend you put too much of this in. In fact, I say on the back of this, no more than 25% uh, of volume. There we go. So this is what you're looking for on the website. <laughs> Where are we? There we are. This is what you're looking for on the website. There you go. I believe that's about £3.50. And it's well worth it because a little bit goes a long, long way. There you go. Not as nice, not as even, but even with this cheap paint, we've thickened it up. And we've extended it a bit as well. So I found with this particular one, this is taking a bit of mixing to get it right in there. But we haven't got the pigment um, coverage that we've got on the, the more expensive ones there. Okay, again, I'm just gonna get a bit more kitchen roll. And let's go over to the other palette. Not a palette, Clive, it's a canvas. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's pick up a bit of this red. And let's bring that over. Well, it's a little bit, it's a little bit wishy-washy. I must admit, um, I'm not, I'm not really happy. Could I get away with that? Possibly. Um, maybe if we put a little less in there, it would have worked better. But it has definitely got a, a lot of thicker coverage. Um, it's, it's a, it comes a little bit more opaque but there's very, very little pigment in these cheap paints anyway. So you get what you pay for at the end of the day. And, um, and I think with the thickening agent, at least you can get some sort of coverage with that. But um, personally, any of those three, but this one, maybe not so much. And that's already started to dry there, look. This is the, um, that was the first coat of paint I put on earlier, just raw. Um, and that was the, the same with there and there, but these are all still wet, as you can see. If I put my hand on there, you can still see the, you can see the actual paint coming off it. So it does extend the drying time as well. So I hope you found that interesting. Yes, please, if you're interested in the thickening agent, please go along to the website. This video will actually be posted there as well. Um, and all the other relevant information that's actually on the back of this uh, particular product is there also and um, if you're if you're in the states or anywhere outside Europe you can just put this in with an order it's only about three pounds fifty that's not a lot of money for what this is and it will save you a great deal of money and a lot of heartache as well so if you like the thickness of oil paints then give it a try it's a small amount of money to pay for such a big product and um, I, 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 I think Personally, I use it a lot on my Bob Ross techniques. There we go. So um, thank you very much for joining me in the studio tonight. My name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk. Have a good day, a good week, a good month of video because I don't know exactly when you're going to be watching this. And um, please, I urge you just to go along and give it a try. All the best. And uh, what I will do is I'll put a little sample in some orders as well. If you want a sample, just ask on your purchase. And perhaps I'll put a little sample in there for you to try out. 
And um, well, thank you very much. I'll see you in the studio for another step-by-step -step lesson pretty soon. Nice. Hey, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk